So welcome back everyone, Triple M here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the Fire TV update that's been going around and you guys probably see uh, a lot of videos on YouTube just about what's happening. So if you guys don't know, uh, the Fire Stick is pushing new updates and this is not just affecting your Fire TV lights anymore. It is affecting your 4Ks, your Fire TV cubes, uh, your regular Fire TV. And what's happening is with the new updates, we're seeing that developer options is being phased out, disappearing and can't find it. So while that's happening, the good news is that this is not a permanent thing. There's a way to go in and get the developer options back, which I'm gonna go over here in a little bit. So with this happening, I've been getting a lot of questions and the main one is, should I even bother to update my Fire TV? So I'm gonna answer that today as well as show you guys how to get developer options back. But if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So if the developer options has been removed, your screen will look like this. It'll say about, then it'll go to legal and compliance, and then the other stuff at the bottom. And you see that developer options is no longer that second option. So for a lot of people, for me, myself, if you do any third party applications, any installs, any type of tweak into your Fire TV stick, this is a big deal because that means that you can no longer do those things. Which brings me back to the original question. Should you update your Fire TV stick? So. I'm gonna say, for me, I am still gonna update my Fire TV sticks. Uh, updates normally bring bug fixes, uh, new features, new looks, a new design that works better, that's more fluid. So I do think it's worth it. And the reason I think this is worth it is because they haven't permanently removed the developer options. It is still there, which I'm gonna get to here in a little bit. And the uh, second question I wanna answer is, do you think Amazon is phasing out developer options I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no I think Amazon knows that if developer options are removed from their devices they will not sell as many fire sticks as they were hoping we'll see a lot of people start going to other platforms Chromecast um, Android boxes but I do think if fire stick removes developer options the sales are gonna plummet and Amazon's gonna go to feel the pinch so that's my two stents on it what I think Amazon's doing is uh, just getting in line with what we see on mobile devices, for instance, on the mobile phone, developer options is not on by default. On the Chromecast with Google TV, developer options is not on by default. And for the Fire Stick, it's kind of the same thing. So if you're someone who pushed an update, notice that developer option is no longer there, this is how you go about getting it back. So on the About section where it says My Fire TV, it might say My Fire TV Stick Lite, or whatever the case is, you wanna highlight that and you wanna tap on the OK button repeatedly. You wanna tap it on about seven times. It is gonna tell you that you're a couple steps away from developer options, keep on tapping. It's gonna say you're now in developer mode. And when you go back, you'll see that developer options is now there again. And with this, you do have the same options that you did have before. So if you wanted to uh, install third-party applications, you can go ahead and do so. If you wanted to uh, do something with ADB debugging, that option's there. And uh, nothing's really changed. What they've made it is just a little bit harder for you to get to it. It's not out there in your face. And that might deter some of the newer users from actually going in, start tweaking, and uh, making changes to their device. So let me know what you guys think of my two senses on the uh, developer option controversy. Let me know if you guys are planning to update your devices. Uh, let me know what you think is uh, Amazon's end game will be for the Fire Stick now that they're kind of dialing back developer options being in your face. Of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit that thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.